G'day guys, Chris here. Today we are going to hike up to an old mine site and add it going into the side of the hill right next to a 30 foot waterfall to drink some delicious bean juice and take some photos. I'm also going to do a bit of metal detecting on the way, see if we can't find any gold nugget. can't wait to get you guys to the waterfall um there's not often enough water in this creek for that waterfall to be flowing so that's going to be the really cool thing i actually broke my coffee percolator too which is kind of disappointing so we have to have instant coffee but hey a nice cup of bean juice next to a waterfall is a good cup of bean juice next to a waterfall it's going to look pretty spectacular we're going to send a drone up up there um and this creek has given me a lot of gold in the past as well so that's why i bought the detector today just to see if they've washed any nice chunks that are just sitting out there on the surface i actually found a few chunks uh not too long ago i came up here and did a little bit of crevicing and just scratched out um some good looking cracks that have been revealed by the erosion that's happened that's what i'm working at the moment all the gravel that is behind me is brand new gravel just washed out from just upstream there and you know there could be a chance that there was a nice bit of gold washed out of that stuff so we're going to keep detecting our way up and hopefully we'll find a nice bit of yellow we're just doing a little bit of training on grizzly's recall he, he's never been terribly good at it so i thought i've got to start bringing treats out we're going to see if he comes back for a piece of piece of rawhide grizz watch come Good boy, good boy, oh, good boy, yeah, you'll learn to come back, won't ya? teeny weeny hot rock um sometimes these give really nice signals there's a lot of copper and stuff up here in these mountains and and this is when you get really good signals from the detector i've actually got a little pan in my bag i'm just going to scratch out some of this dirt as well and have a bit of a pan because i think there might be some potential in that crack for something better than a hot rock Ah, ah ha ha, that's what was giving me my signal. I scratched out the crack um, and it still had a signal in there after I found that hot rock. And that is a bit of melted something. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'll take it home just in case it's something special. But nice, nice bit of metal, nice hunk of it. And no gold. Oh, wait one tiny dot probably not going to be able to see him he can go back to the gods found the signal finally square head nail caught up in that crevice Absolutely no gold sitting with it though. I love those little spiders, they're called seven point spiders. Um, well, that's what I know them as. And they're everywhere at this time of year. They only really come out sort of the end of, end of spring and the start of summer. 
um, and they make webs everywhere, it's just like this guy. They string them up between every single tree and every bush and blade of grass that you come across. It's really annoying to walk through. They're pretty much harmless, but you know, webs and spiders in your beard, not the most comfortable of things. <laughs> Well, there you have it. We only walked 1.23 kilometers on and a quarter kilometers in an hour and 41, but we did all the detecting and panning and, and lots of other stuff, which is pretty cool. I can't film the waterfall too great right now because the sun is directly above it. And that is blowing all of the visuals for me. I think we'll put the pot on, eh? We'll get a coffee going. Well, it's only instant coffee, but it's right next to a beautiful waterfall. I'm so stoked to have been here this morning. It's, it's something special to come up to a place like this, have the honor and privilege of photographing it, drinking a nice cup of bean juice, and generally just getting to enjoy life without having to stress about doing anything in particular. Nothing important. This is all So big at it. They took out a lot of gold from this from this mine. And they built an ore pad. It's a nice perfectly level flat area in the middle of a very, very steep gully. And the creek's just down there. And they ripped, they ripped these veins out and they run east to west. And um, that's that's your gold bearing veins up here. Wow, well, we got awesome a couple stuff. of picks. They didn't turn out exactly how I'd hoped they'd turn out, but that's all right. That's why I'm out here trying to learn photography and drinking coffee in some spectacular places. I wanted to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy seeing the beautiful waterfall right next to the awesome mine shaft. Two very cool things. Um, and I hope to bring you many, many more of these as the future goes on and we progress through the episodes of drinking coffee on mountains. Well, till next time, guys. Peace, and I'm out.